So at the moment, everything's being pulled down by gravity. And the fact you're not falling through the floor must mean there's a force pushing you upwards. And at the moment, you're achieving that by applying a force downwards onto the chair. And then Newton's laws mean that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the chair is then pushing upwards with exactly the same force and holding you up so you don't fall to the centre of the earth very quickly. Right. So how does the wing of an aeroplane create that force, which then leads to the aeroplane being able to stay up in the air and combat gravity accelerating it downwards? So it must be pushing down on something, and the only thing a plane has got to push down on is the air around it. So somehow the plane must be pushing down on the air around it. Um, And the part of the plane which holds it up is, of course, the wing. So I have a model wing here, which is made out of a bent piece of card. Um, and we're going to be wanting to see what the um, how the air is affecting how the wing is affecting the air moving past it. Now, to not get any lift from a wing, you need the wing to be moving through the air. Now, to see that while it's running around is really difficult. So instead, I've got a big fan which I can turn on and produce air flying past the wing. Right. So we have a bent piece of card which is curved in the shape of a wing. You have a screwdriver with a ribbon on it which is going to reveal where the air is going so talk us through what will happen when we put the wing in front of this large fan what should we be looking for so in order to stay up the wing should be pushing the air down Um, and we should be able to see that by the ribbon behind the screwdriver being pushed downwards now i can understand how that will work with the bottom side of the wing because the wing is higher at the front than the back so air hitting the wing is going to be deflected downwards so if you push the air downwards it's going to push the wing upwards as newton's law tells us what about the top of the wing though does that contribute to the lift if you get the aerodynamics right which is an important part of designing a plane then air will tend to stick to a smoothly curving surface so with any luck you will also get the top of the wing deflecting the air downwards and also producing lift so the air is being pulled down onto the top side of the wing so by pulling air down the air pulls the wing up so you get lift from the top of the wing and because you're pushing air down with the bottom of the wing you get lift there too Exactly right. Uh, if you get if you fly your plane wrong, have you can lose a lift from the top, and that's what you call a stall. Right. Let's do the experiment then. Now this is noisy, everyone at home, so we apologise in advance. We had a go with this earlier, and um, and it is a wonderful air conditioner, but it is noisy. Here we go. So Dave's turned on his large fan. Just tell us what you're doing first. So at the moment, I've just got the streamer, the ribbon, moving in the air, and it's just going horizontally. Now, if I move the wing down towards it from the top you should see that that streamer is being deflected downwards, even though it's not actually touching the wing. Yes, indeed. So the streamer is nowhere near the wing. It's underneath the wing, but the streamer is curving downwards, just like the same shape as the wing. So there's obviously air being pushed downwards by the lower surface of the wing. Exactly right. So it must be pushing the wing upwards. And similarly, if we bring the wing upwards towards the ribbon from underneath, it starts, the air starts to stick to the wing and so the top of the air going to the top is also being deflected downwards and so pulling up the wing. So if I let go of the wing, it moves upwards, it's producing lift. And one last question for you, Dave, then. What about when a plane flies upside down? Because you've explained everything beautifully for an aeroplane flying the normal way, but when a stunt pilot goes upside down, the plane still flies. How does he do it? It's exactly the same principle. Um, It's not quite as efficient because the aerodynamics isn't designed quite as well for it. But still, the air is at the the plane is at an angle, so the wing hits the air hits the wing at an angle, and it gets deflected downwards, so the air pushes the plane upwards. So, are you saying the pilot basically has to modify his flying technique or her flying technique so the plane is flying along, so the wing is still pushing air downwards, but it's just not necessarily the most comfortable ride. It, basically the nose of the plane tends to be pointing up a bit more if you're flying upside down than if you're flying horizontally because they're designed to fly the right way up. High angle of attack, I think, is the correct parlance, isn't it? It certainly helps. <laughs> Dave Ansell, thank you very much indeed.